All right, we will go ahead and get started. Carolina, congratulations into your first Grand Slam final. Can you just talk us through the emotions after you came back 5-2 match point down uh, to win today? Thank you very much. Well, emotions, uh, it's been a roller coaster. Uh, yeah, 2-5 in a third, but uh, I still kind of kind of knew it's just one break and I was waiting for my chances and um, and it happened it happened I, I managed to break arena and then then hold my serve and then uh, you never know what's going to happen I just tried to play point by point and um, yeah super super glad that I turned it around and then managed to win the match Hi Carolina, congratulations. Um, you've had such a, an awful run of injuries over the years. I just wondered, does, does this result reaching a Grand Slam final, does it feel overdue at all to you? Do you feel like these are the sorts of results that you would have been having all along if you could just have you know, got a, a good run of fitness together like you have now? Uh, I didn't really think about it like this. Uh, who knows what can happen? I think everything has uh, its own time, and and uh, yeah, in the past it was not easy, and that's actually what makes me to appreciate this this result even more now, because I know what I've been through in the past, and um, yeah, to be now in a Grand Slam final, it's. Uh, for sure my dream and, and I'm super, super glad that, um, that I'm here and uh, that I'm going to play finals on Saturday. Uh, hi, Carolina, congratulations. Oh, hello. Um, Thank you. I, you, you, were you appear to be struggling uh, physically during the match. I wanted to ask you about that and also how you're feeling today and if the next, you know, few, whatever, 24 hours, 48 hours is yeah. enough to recover. Yeah, well, it's been it's been long match uh, and very I would say pretty intensive. So uh, yeah, after two hours, I my body felt it. Uh, I mean, I was running left, right, trying to uh, bring all the power to every shot. So so it takes energy and um, yeah, it, it it was long match. So uh, I had I had little low in a, in a third set. I could I could feel that I was going a little bit. Uh, I was slowing down, but um, then yeah. That it turned again, and um, you know, with all the energy from the people, I, I was able to to uh, bring back some some uh, some energy that was left there. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm honestly I'm, I'm pretty tired now, but uh, I have a tomorrow day off, and, and and I'll try to do the best to to recover. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll feel I'll feel great for for Saturday. Just to check on that, were you cramping in your legs? I was a little bit cramping, yes. <laughs> uh, the um, match point, in general, when you face a match point, how do you approach that moment in a match? And did you, after getting past that today, feel as though uh, your play improved more than hers fell or the other way around? Um, facing a match point, I, I was on the serve and I was just focusing, honestly, on a, another point and and uh, tried to put a great serve and that worked. So I didn't really think of it much like uh, to put any any pressure. Like that's a match point, just another point. Uh, put a, a huge focus and and uh, yeah, I just try to focus on my serve and uh, a serve and. Uh, I think I, I served well, and and it kind of helped me to to win uh, to win this point. And then um, throughout all the match, I think I could uh, here and there I could really rely on my serve, and it helped me to get out of the, some crucial moments in in the match. Um, and then you were asking about. Did you feel toward the end it was more about you Sorry. improving your play or hers? Uh, dipping? Yeah. Um, well, I think it was through the match, like, 
the first set, the end of the first set, I was um, I had a better better finish to the set, and then uh, the second it was her, and then the start of the third it was Milo, and then then I think uh, it was hers a little bit. She she gave me chance, and um, and I took the chance. I was ready to take a chance to to break her back, and and then um, I got on the wave. Uh, uh, on the better wave, I would say, and um, yeah, I could see that uh, she she was struggling a little bit and doing a f fast mistakes. So I was just trying to trying to keep her there. Carolina, this is obviously the high point of your career so far. I kind of want to ask, as has been alluded to, about maybe the low points in terms of dealing with injuries and what do you think was the lowest moment that you experienced going through that? Did did you ever think that? Maybe tennis, your body just wasn't gonna gonna let you work for tennis, and you thought about giving it up altogether, perhaps. Um, you know, there's been many moments, um, many lows. I would say it was from one injury to another. For sure, when I missed Australian Open last year, and um, I, I was in a pretty bad state, um, healthy-wise, I was um, working out a lot to to try to get back and. You never know. I mean, some doctors told me, you know, maybe you will not sport anymore, but you will not do sport anymore. But um, I always kept it kind of positive in my mind and, and uh, try to work and and do all the exercises to to be able to come back. And obviously, as well, last year when when my ranking dropped and. Um, uh, I was thinking to, you know, play some small tournaments, and I I did. I tried it, and there I didn't really feel so great. I wanted to feel like motivated to play to get back, but I I couldn't somehow. So uh, I knew for this year I had few more special rankings left, and um, I, I was telling myself I will see how it's gonna be after Indian Wells because that was my last special ranking there, and and um, you know I played great in Dubai. I did great in Indian Wells. I was feeling pretty fine healthy wise and um, you know it's up and downs in life all the time and uh, now I'm enjoying that uh, that uh, I'm on the on the upper part now thank you hi Carolina congrats um, um, last year you you beat Sakari here early on and then obviously got injured and I remember the like image of you kind of being really upset um, and then this year you beat Sakari early on and it made it to the final just wondering like how satisfying is it kind of to, to make this run given what happened last year and just another question um, do you know that you're you've never lost a player ranked inside the top three um, and just wondering what, um, what is it about you that makes you such a big good big match player well I didn't know about it <laughs> um I think uh, I think it's um, maybe my game and the fighting spirit and everything together kind of um today it was hell of a fight and um uh, I put it everything out there and um it's uh, uh it paid off so that might be the um uh, yeah that, that might be why uh and uh, I forgot the first question again <laughs> Oh yeah, um, last, yeah, this year I bet.